Hello there and welcome back to yet another episode of Day in the Life of Series brought to you by the Tech Culture Champions community. I'm Mayank Gupta, a software engineer too at Intuit. In today's episode, we'll be talking to Shravya Shree, a senior machine learning engineer who's been working with Intuit for around eight years now and plays an instrumental role in developing and implementing complex algorithms to enhance Intuit's product offerings. It's great to have you here, Shravya. Could you please kick off this session by telling a little bit about yourself and a brief intro about your journey? Uh, thank you for having me here. I am Shravya, Senior Machine Learning Engineer at Intuit AI. I have a Bachelor's and Master's in Computer Science from IIIT Hyderabad and was a cam- campus hire with Intuit from there. It's been about eight years with Intuit now and the journey, I should say, has been really fruitful. So what drew you towards a career in machine learning and why did you choose Intuit? Yeah, sure. So the field of AI was introduced to me during my sophomore year at IIIT Hyderabad. I was asked to write a program to build a chess playing agent. At the end of it, the agent was winning against me. That was really intriguing for me. That made me choose AI for my master's as well. Ever since I wanted to work in the field of ML and Intuit helped me with my choice by providing a path forward. The reason I opted for Intuit during my university was Intuit's values were in sync with my own and also the manner in which Intuit treated their staff a lasting impression on me. I was initially hired as a software engineer and eventually transitioned to Emily thanks to the amazing internal mobility culture at Intuit. As a senior machine learning engineer, how would you describe a day in your life? Also, with the backdrop of Intuit's vision, what are the core responsibilities of your role? As a senior machine learning engineer at Intuit, a typical day would be focused on delivering practical solutions along with aligning to the business goals. It would also mean that I need to keep track of latest technologies and research trends to stay ahead of the curve. My planned day usually kicks off with interactions with data scientists and other product teams where we strategize and innovate solutions for our ongoing and upcoming projects. But as the day advances, afternoons, I usually keep it for coding and also attend any seminars or read read few conference papers to um, stay ahead of the curve. I'm sure you would have worked on a lot of interesting projects. Could you please share your experience about any specific project where you had a chance to uh, put on a thinking cap or uh, summon a genie to solve a tricky problem? Yeah, sure. This was in the very early years at Intuit AI. We were building different flavors of propensity models for different use cases across uh, business units. And each of them would take considerable amount of time in featureization. So one interesting thing we observed was that there are subset of these features that are common across all of these flavors of propensity modeling and we built something called one intuit propensity features so right now one intuit propensity features is shared across ai teams and whoever builds propensity models uses uses them to you know optimize for costs and resources that's one memorable project i can recall so what's your secret sauce to keep up with the rapid advancements in the field of machine learning Yes. Uh, So networking and engaging in practical applications is my key to keeping track of advancements in the field. Especially at Intuit AI, we have meet and eat sessions every month so that we all uh, get together and exchange ideas about uh, different aspects in ML term. Furthermore, I I make it a point to talk to other people who are working on projects which which I'm not uh, directly aligned to, but still I go ahead and ask questions about those which which will broaden my perspective. And uh, I believe Every MLE or DL should have a habit of reading papers and attending seminars um, that will enable you to stay ahead of the curve and also get an understanding of cutting edge topics. So probably to sum it up, I think networking, open discussions and uh, continuous learning definitely like traits for the success in the rapidly evolving field like ML. Could you share your observations on how your role has evolved with the advancements in uh, machine learning? Sure. Over the past decade, the role of machine learning engineers has definitely evolved significantly, I would say. Um, When I was in the university a decade ago, AI industry roles were more focused on the theoretical aspects of ML, more on the research side. But due to the wide adoption of ML in the industry over the past decade, there has been shift towards the practical implementation, building reusable services, maintaining ML systems in in a production environment have become very crucial. And also as companies increasingly integrate ML into their business process, professionals in this field are expected to have an understanding of business strategies and generate business focused solutions as opposed to the research we were doing before. Can you share an instance where you had to make a tough decision in your career at Intuit? I was really anxious about transitioning from a software engineer role to a machine learning engineer role. 
However, thanks to Intuit and the supportive guidance from my then managers, both Prashant and Sanjay, the internal mobility process was thoroughly streamlined and smooth. And of course, thanks to the AI team, I felt immediately at ease and quickly found my footing in my new role. If you were to hop into a time machine and uh, go back in your career journey, is there anything you would do differently? I'm happy with where I am, but of course, looking back, I realized the importance of articulating my thoughts and actively contributing to the technical discussions, especially during early stages of my career. And I wish I had done that more often. So what's the most valuable career advice you have received that has guided you in your current role? So one career advice which has stayed with me for long is have a curious mind and be fearless. So having a curious mind means to consistently ask questions, dig deeper and seek to understand beyond the surface level. And it also encourages critical thinking and innovation. On the other hand, being fearless implies having the courage to pursue your ambitions despite the odds. Therefore, I believe combining a curious mind with fearlessness creates a powerful synergy that can guide your successful career. So when you look back at a completed machine learning project, how do you evaluate its success? So there are different dimensions to evaluating the success of a completed machine learning project. There are aspects related to model performance, meaning, you know, how well your model is doing. Uh, for example, you measure your accuracy, your pressure, recall, etc. And there are also aspects like overfitting, underfitting that we examine with respect to, to the model performance. And when it comes to business metrics, we look at what is the model doing and to help the customers. So customer obsession plays a big role there. And if the model outputs are explainable, of course, at the end of the day, customers would want to understand why the model is doing what it is doing. And also uh, coming to the operational aspects of it, automation plays an important role. We ask questions like, is the training pipeline automated? Is the inference pipeline automated? Or is the auto scaling factored in and if the model or data drift is in place monitoring for the model or data drift is in place given your extensive experience what do you feel are the top three skills someone should cultivate to become a machine learning engineer yeah i believe there are three aspects to become a good machine learning engineer so first one being proficiency in programming languages and computer science be it any engineer i believe you need to have good footing in programming languages and a solid foundational object-oriented designing patterns. And then the second aspect to it is expertise in statistical and machine learning concepts. So you need to have a deep understanding of probability, data analysis, etc. And you also need to have a familiarity with big data tools. And besides these technical skills, you should also having soft skills like problem solving, clear communication and capacity for continuous learning. So I heard that you were the ambassador for the last Women in Data Science conference at Intuit. How was the experience and what message did you take away from it? One key takeaway from the conference is definitely the importance of diversity in data science. It was really interesting to learn that diverse teams lead to diverse ideas, resulting in innovative and comprehensive solutions. All the keynote presentations and panel discussions uh, were driven by wonderful women in data science and ML field. and that has really left me inspired and part of a community shedding light on the fact that there are many women in data science breaking the barriers and shaping the tech industry. So looking into the future, how do you foresee the machine learning field evolving and how would that influence your role as a machine learning engineer? The future of machine learning is expected to evolve with advancements such as auto, auto ML, wider utilization of large language models, and of course, rise of quantum machine learning. There will be increased impact on explainable AI, transparency, accountability, along with addressing issues such as bias and ethical aspects in model development. Looking forward, more emphasis for MLEs will be on optimization, especially LLMs, and also to deal with privacy and security concerns tied with use of big data. So ML engineers will need to constantly learn and adapt to new skills amid opportunities and challenges. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Day in the Life of Series. Big shout out to Shravya for taking us through her day as a senior machine learning engineer at Intuit. We hope you found Shravya's insights valuable. Don't forget to share your feedback or suggestions for the future guests and topics in our comment section. Thank you for listening and we'll see you again in our next episode. 